Hello, my name is Brian Dobson. I'm a captain with DeKalb County Fire Rescue in Decatur, Georgia. And uh, this is our 2014 Aero XT, the Screaming Eagle. Um, this fire truck will be going to fire station number six in South DeKalb. Uh, we are very pleased to uh, be working with Pierce. This is going to be our first Pierce fire truck. Uh, we have nine fire trucks that have been ordered and are in production at this time. This is the first one out and we are very excited to get this one in service in the next couple of weeks. Some of the features of this fire truck, we have the command zone uh, multiplexing system within the fire truck. Um, all the interior is line x We have line x all inside the vehicle. Uh, the air horn lanyard is a straight down pull, has a paracord lanyard in, in, in the center. Uh, one of the features also that we have we put in this fire truck is a cover over the transmission shifter. That is a safety feature, so if we are in drive at pumping a fire and somebody accidentally hit the neutral button, it is, uh, it's, a, it's just a safety cover that goes back over there. Another thing we have done is we've added full uh, diamond plate flooring in a fire truck for ease of maintenance. Uh, no padding here, nothing to tear. Uh, we built this truck for durability. Again, you can see all the line X on the inside of the interior. Uh, we have an EMS compartment here where we're going to run ALS equipment out of this unit. Uh, all of our long EMS equipment, our KEDs, traction splints, uh, are going to be inside here. We got rid of the push and open latches. We went to a quarter turn manual D latch uh, for, ease of, for ease of maintenance and durability. We've got a thousand gallon per minute pump. Um, this pump housing is, is kind of unique. Everything's in a row. Everything is, is all the discharges are stainless steel pierce hand wheels that are very easy to operate and prevents the water hammer. Everything can be controlled from this side. We have no five inch intake over here for safety reasons. Uh, what we've done is add an access panel here that can be easily removed for maintenance. Also we relocated the engine cooler back inside in the open position so no one has the ability except for motor maintenance to turn that off it'll always stay on you have access to all the drains easy access easy access to all the back sides of the valves another option that we we added in that's that's kind of unique is our swing out what this has done is made easy access to all the back of the switches, the backs of the gauges, and also you can hit the tops of the valves really easy from this, this point. On the switch panel here, you've got the panel lights and we have hose bed lights. We have two strip lights in the hose bed that I'll show you in just a minute, which that controls. We also have an air horn switch for safety. Uh, that's a new thing that's been coming around in the industry. We do have an LED uh, command light light tower. It is four Pioneer, Wheeland Pioneer lights up there. It's all 12 volt. Uh, there's no generator or anything of that nature on this truck. These compartments are 16 inches deep on the top, 26 inches deep on the bottom. Again, we went with quarter turn handles on the doors. We've had failures of the other type, so we, we went with a quarter turn. Um, this compartment here, we have a slide out tool tray. It's gonna be loaded on the back wall, on the back of this wall and on the outside. Right now, some of our compartments are loaded with equipment and they're stacked on top of each other. So we figured we could try to get three layers, and nothing be stacked on each other. This compartment is gonna be where we have all the engineers uh, adapters and appliances um, there's going to be a, a water thief on the bottom some foam appliances here and everything else up top one thing i did not mention is up top here there are two uh, one long coffin compartment has two hatches where we can put our long tools our shovels 
our fire rakes, and our long pike poles. On the back of the truck, we have a compartment here where we're going to have two multi hooks and a drywall hook mounted here, pediatric board, and an adult backboard, and of course, a folding ladder. Above that, we have our hose bed, our low, low hose bed, where we're going to have 200 foot of 3 inch, 1200 foot of 5 inch here, 400 foot of 3 inch here, inch and 7 8 skid load, 200 foot of 2 and a half here, another 200 foot of 2 and a half there. Um, this hose bed um, is actually has an incline. It's uh, four inches different from the back here to up there, and that is to help keep the five inch hose kind of locked in the truck a little bit better. Uh, we do run a 500 gallon upright tank, and that helps us get this lower hose bed. Um, using the space wisely, we put a compartment underneath the hose bed here that runs in between the frame rails. This is where we're going to keep a water can, a dry uh, an ABC dry chemical extinguisher, and also a spare oxygen cylinder for EMS calls. On this side of the apparatus we have our ladders. We keep the ladders outside of the truck because we train to deploy our ground ladders often on many fires. And in doing so, We've came up with something a little new, it's a ladder balancing point. Uh, we train to throw the ladders with one person. So if you know where the balance point is of the ladder, you can undo, grab the ladder, and go with it with just one person on the shoulder. Um, this is something that is, that is kind of new for Pierce. They've never really done it before, so they were very happy to do that for us. Um, and that's something they said they're going to try to start doing. On this side, for since we have our hose bundle tray here kind of raised our ladders up so we added a we add a, a, a stirrup step on the bottom and a handrail so that people can get up and and pull the ladders off the truck easily without injuring themselves one of the other things we went to was our access for our pump panel for our maintenance we went with a hinge up All right, we, we did this so that we'd have better access to the pump in a quicker way. We also have our manual cab raise here and our solenoids for our pump shift are also up here and easily accessible for the maintenance guys. All right, it's off of position. We have a full complement of switches identical to the driver's side. So the officer can turn on or off any lights, alley lights, scene lights from his side as well. Small glove box. And we also have a pull-out tray for our MDT stand. As we move around to the front, we have a very we have a very strong bumper. First off, you see the notch that we've incorporated into the front bumper for our five-inch hose. This is so that you can fully make the connection all the way around without limited space. You're not going to get cramped. And that's something that's new for us. Uh, also here, we had a specification where our bumper tow hooks were to be rated at 20,000 pounds towing. This was something that Pierce was excited to work with us on. Um, each one of these brackets are rated at 11,000 pounds. So we have a total pulling force of, from the front of 22,000 pounds. And these were incorporated just for DeKalb County, and that's what that's going to be our standard from now on. Um, we have a uh, Pioneer Plus scene light up front. Uh, it is wired for uh, right of way clearance and emergency mode. When the emergency brake is pulled for scene, it, it automatically cuts off. Uh, and that is our 2014 Aero XT, and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.